following content is a technical analysis on Douglas Emmett, a company of the real estate sector and offices based upon the daily interval. And I believe we've reached a critical monumental inflection point where we had a headlines rock. The 30 year treasury auction faced huge challenges and a notable 5.3 basis point tail and a bid to cover ratio at its lowest in multi years. This suggests that the government's debt sale a vital for sustaining fiscal and monetary policies didn't unfold as smoothly as anticipated in Janet Yellen's economic strategy. And here we are, which is a highly sensitive stock in terms of the bond market. We had a divergent low, positive and or bullish divergences amongst all three technical momentum indicators, which was the technical catalyst for a huge surge to the upside, ripping across to rechallenge the 1469 price resistance, put in a nice clean double top was rejected impulsively. And we've been in a downtrend since that inflection point completely bounced off this primary reactionary uptrend line based upon the May reactionary lows. And that was a vital inflection point for long traders and or bull traders to really defend at all costs uh, to avert any further breakdown in the technical structure of the stock. Ended up having a beautiful gap, completely gapped up, retested the 200 day moving average and this new primary reactionary downtrend line with a multi multi reactionary highs really across the board there. Call it a triple transitioning line of resistance correlated with the 1296 price resistance, 200 day moving average and primary downtrend line. And here we are testing the rejected impulsively undercutting the 50 exponential and 50 day moving average. And we are testing once again, the primary reactionary uptrend line based on that key inflection point off the May lows. Bear traders, short sellers, they want to see a final breakdown here. Nice, clean, red, impulsive candle close breakdown sell signal below. The 1111 price support correlated with the primary uptrend line would offer a great risk reward ratio short trade setup move to the upside, downside. On rechallenging of the 1009 price support and then ultimately the 906 price support, which will be heavily influenced, correlated with the monthly interval dating back to the 2008 financial collapse. A very minor price support level, but a target engaged in uh, to target for any short sellers and or bear traders. We are at a key inflection point within the price percent oscillator, starting to hone in on a beautiful looking gaping crossover, potential bearish crossover underneath on an already undercut of the zero line threshold. So we are at a very significant tail. The additional, again, a moving average convergence, uh, honing in on to cross over that key inflection point with a ho oscillator histogram, losing momentum in the green candle closes above the zero line threshold. So again, watching for a nice red candle close below that inflection point would also uh, spell the momentum is starting to wane within the price action and rhythm and cadence of the stock. Long traders, bull traders, they need to really step in here uh, to defend this key inflection point with the primary uptrend line really at all costs. The risk reward ratio lies heavily to the long side as of now, where an undercut of this primary uptrend line would offer an aggressive short trade setup. And it's exactly what I'm looking for in a solid breakdown. I am merely watching the stock until it breaks down. I am not taking a position until we undercut the 11.11 price support, which would only spur damage, further damage within the technical momentum indicators, only increasing the probability of a much larger drop and or crash to the downside. Long traders, they need to step in here, recover the 1137 price resistance, have a, a complete rally right back up to rechallenge the 50 exponential and 50 day moving average. And really what happens when you're about to reach that key inflection point of a crossover that could additionally mark a slip and slide effect and mark the bottom of the price action in the stock on a prolonged move to the upside, going on to rechallenge its zero line threshold if and when we go on to have that slip in effect and never get that crossover, only infusing more damage within the technical momentum indicators if we do get the crossover. As for the long traders and the apes in the ape village, this is their moment of truth.